Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen, Beta's production model Aaliyah CX300 takes first flight, Skydweller completes pioneering 22-hour autonomous flight, and AST taps New Glenn rocket for Bluebird satellite launches. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. Beta's production model Alia CX300 takes first flight. Beta Technologies recently sent the first production representative Alia CX300 up for its debut flight. The electric conventional takeoff and landing aircraft is the first to come off the manufacturer's new production line in South Burlington, Vermont. The aircraft November 916 Lima Foxtrot was flown by Beta founder and CEO Kyle Clark. He took the CX-300 up to around 7,000 feet to complete, quote, handling qualities evaluation, stability and control test points, and initial airspeed expansion prior to flying several approaches and a normal landing, end quote. The sortie lasted around an hour in total. This inaugural flight kicks off Beta's production aircraft test campaign. It will complete 50 more hours on an experimental certificate before conducting a market survey and crew training. The manufacturer will then be well on its way to start deliveries. The CX-300 is the conventional takeoff version of Beta's Alia design. It has a five-passenger capacity and utilizes an electric H500A motor, giving the aircraft a 135-knot cruise speed and a 336 nautical mile range. The CX-300 is expected to receive FAA-type certification by 2025 and already has commitments from Air New Zealand, Bristow Group, and United Therapeutics. After the break, Sierra Space and Oak Ridge develop new thermal protection for a spacecraft. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our next Gen Minute. Sierra Space and Oak Ridge develop new thermal protection for spacecraft. Sierra Space, in collaboration with the Department of Energy's Oak Ridge National Laboratory, has developed a new technology for thermal protection tiles for spacecraft re-entering Earth's atmosphere. This development enables the manufacture of much-improved exterior spacecraft tiles that can withstand the high temperatures of re-entry over multiple and frequent missions. The new thermal protection system is designed to meet the needs of the burgeoning commercial space industry that's moving at a much faster pace than previous generations. AeroVironment reveals software updates to Puma UAS. AeroVironment announced Project Gold, a new suite of software updates to its Puma 3 AE and Puma LE uncrewed aerial systems that enhance their battlefield effectiveness in contested environments. The update strengthened the UAS to maintain reliable navigation and mission performance even when GNSS and communication signals are unreliable, unavailable, or being jammed. The upgraded software ensures that Puma can continue to carry out mission-critical tasks autonomously and securely while reducing its reliance on GPS and enhancing survivability in hostile environments. Commercial space flights set record in fiscal year 2024. The FAA released a report showing that the number of commercial space operations in fiscal year 2024 were 30% higher than the previous fiscal year, setting a new record. The agency also said that number could more than double by 2028. 
Over the past 10 years, the number of FAA-licensed commercial space flights has increased over 900 percent, from 14 in 2015 to 148 in 2024. In fiscal year 2024, the FAA's Office of Commercial Space Transportation carried out 49 licensing actions. These included granting two new licenses, renewing 10, and modifying another 37. Automated Aerial Application for Unmanned Helicopters Rotor Technologies and AgNav announced they have formed a partnership to bring automated aerial application to the Sprayhawk unmanned helicopter. The two companies recently demonstrated an integrated automated aerial application system for users to fly Rotor Sprayhawk Agricultural UAV using AgNav's GIA Platinum Navigation System. AgNav will be the exclusive provider of the navigation solutions on Rotor's 2025 model year Sprayhawk. The aircraft will be equipped with the advanced navigation and flow control technology as standard. That's it for our Next Gen Minute. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Skydweller completes pioneering 22-hour autonomous flight. Skydweller Aero recently completed a series of uncrewed autonomous test flights, the longest of which lasted 22 and a half hours, and demonstrates the feasibility of remaining airborne for extended periods using solar energy and batteries. The Skydweller is based on Solar Impulse, the first solar-powered aircraft to circumnavigate the Earth. Its robust design enables Skydweller to carry payloads of up to 800 pounds. The U.S. military, particularly the Navy, has expressed interest in the potential of Skydweller as a platform for persistent surveillance in a maritime patrol setting. The aircraft's long endurance shows great potential for numerous military roles in such settings, and some of the Skydweller's recent flight tests were conducted as part of a joint concept technology demonstration. That initiative is under the office of the Undersecretary of Defense for Research and Engineering and played a big part in the development of other autonomous platforms such as the Predator and Global Hawk. The initiative is supported by a cooperative R&D agreement with the Naval Air Warfare Center Aircraft Division. It's tasked with evaluating autonomous maritime patrol aircraft, and Skydweller's capability for ultra-long duration flight could significantly impact maritime patrol and surveillance operations. After these messages, AST taps New Glenn rocket for Bluebird satellite launches. For over 30 years, the massive sport plane resource guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all new digital sport plane resource guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated and even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon. www.sportplane.com Welcome back. AST taps New Glenn rocket for Bluebird satellite launches. AST Space Mobile has chosen Blue Origin's New Glenn rocket to deploy its new Block 2 Bluebird satellites, aiming to build out a space-based cellular broadband network. The first launches will take place over multiple years from Blue Origin's Launch Complex 36 in Cape Canaveral. New Glenn, named after astronaut John Glenn, stands over 320 feet tall and is designed to carry heavy payloads into low Earth orbit. It has a 7-meter payload fairing, which allows it to transport multiple devices per mission. This capability is essential for AST Space Mobile's large Bluebird satellites, optimizing coverage and reducing the number of launches needed for AST's planned network. Abel Avellan, founder and CEO of AST Space Mobile, said, quote, New Glenn's performance and unprecedented capacity within its 7-meter fairing enables us to deploy more of our Block 2 Bluebird satellites in orbit, helping provide continuous cellular broadband service coverage across some of the most in-demand cellular markets globally, end quote. The rocket's reusable first stage is powered by seven BE-4 engines that run on liquefied natural gas and are designed for at least 25 missions. The second stage, driven by two BE-3U engines, ensures that payloads reach their intended LEO positions. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.